Like, I said, I was trying to take pictures of one of my friends was laughing. Like, a friend of mine is a uh, limo driver. So I said, all right, Riley, when you guys go, I'll get Paul to drive your limo. I said, that way I can make sure you guys aren't doing anything you're not supposed to do. He laughs at me because he's got such a good group of friends. at um, Seacoast. Well, if Zach wants to ride with us down to Needham. Yeah, they're not. So, so a lot of Needham games we played at before. We played, uh, we used to play at this place in Lexington, which is pretty easy to get to. But when you get, sometimes you have to go to Walton. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit harder. So I guess it will depend on where the games are. Yeah, well, like I said, Riley and I are going down, so he's welcome to ride with us if he wants to. Yeah, because my other one's going to be in Amherst. But last year we were in Hartford, Connecticut. You know, if I'm going to go away, I'm going to go away. Right. Hartford's like just long enough. Oh, you want to make it so that they can stay overnight? I don't want to. There's no benefit. When, when Andrew was on, Charles, he was on the World Cup. He went to Vegas. Right after the second half, he went to Vegas. Before that, we went to Vegas. Hold it, hold it. Yes, it was. Hold it, hold it.
Oh, he must be exhausted. Alex Dano had a game in New He did the same thing. He went outside in pants. Okay. Came in, changed. Oh, really? Actually, I think Riley's kind of done with it, too. He did get recertified, but he's not signed up. Yeah, that's what you're saying, which is very yeah. cool. So we couldn't really get a job. Right. And it, I mean, they make good money. <laughs> now, is his school done for the summer? Yeah, he finished. How do you do? Yeah, 28. 
different number for everything. Oh, yeah. For a long time, both of my kids were number eight, always. And now they're not. last thing in the world I need. Well, that's the funny thing is I'm taking down like a ton of trees. Oh, we have woods behind our house. Yeah. And I've been clearing it. So I'm allergic to pine. And <laughs> and my house is surrounded by pine and oak and that's what my shots. house is. Well, I'm allergic to all trees. Yes. I'm getting shots from all trees. And here I am getting trees. I, I did shots for three years and it took me off. And it hasn't come back in my nose, <coughs> but come here. I've got this cough, so it's affecting me. I feel fine. It's not like I was before, but I just break out in this awful cough. So I'm like, look, I'm not contagious. I don't have the plague. It's just allergies. I just cough. I have, have two inhalers that I have to use. I was at coughing so bad at work. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Get some inhaler. Okay, what did you do? Riley. He's the reason we went because he couldn't he couldn't play. Um, Zach has a lot of environmental allergies, but they don't affect him so much that way. So how they affect him is he is allergic to all fruit except oranges and vegetables. The only thing he can eat raw is, a, is like oranges and pomegranates, even lemonade now. Oh, really? Yeah, cause I can't eat watermelon. Watermelon of all things. Yeah, it started with apples, went to pears, and then it basically moved to Mine started with apples, too. What my daughter told me is that it was actually a cross-pollination with the birch. And because I'm so allergic to the birch, it cross-pollinates with everything. So I can't eat anything unless it's cooked. All right, whatever. <laughs> How are you? Come on, Alex. Yeah, well, trees, so it right, it's going to be... So does he get shots too, or does he just watch what he eats? They said shots are not effective. Oh, yeah. I grew into all of mine. Yeah, I grew into all of mine. And one day I was eating an almond joy. And then it was the whole nut thing kicked in. I can eat peanuts. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's a, man, soy's in everything. So like even last night. Now what happens to him? He gets um My younger son gets the hives because he's got tree nuts and it's the hives. He's kind of digging through the back. It's like my face feels funny. I'm in the car. He said, Temperature's just right if it's like like warm but on the verge of being cold or cold but on the verge of being warm, that sort of in-between temperature, they will break out in class. And he he'll be at work and he'll look at me like this. He said, Benadryl, he said, I've already taken two. And usually but it happens to both of them. And my mother-in-law's doctor said, Yeah, it's just it's a temper you are reacting to the change in I know someone that that he actually almost died because it was something that runs in his family. But it has, it's sort of a temperature thing, but it only happens to only goes into cold water. So if he goes into cold water, he breaks up. We have a kid who comes to summer camp who's allergic to cold. Yeah. So he has to be really careful with what camps he does, and he's always in long sleeves and um, pants, and if doing anything with water, he stays back and doesn't participate. Because if he gets wet, he could die. Like I think I would move to Florida. take me to the ER one night because my throat was really swollen and then my uvula got to the point where it was like it was so swollen it was resting on the back of my tongue I couldn't every time I swallowed it wouldn't my throat wouldn't open again. So, yeah I had two different kinds of infections. So they they brought me in and they're like okay we're gonna start your own prejudice and we're gonna start your own IV antibiotics. Okay well I nodded because not 
but it's just so scary when you don't know what it is. Tomorrow, 4.45 at home. Oh, where's that one? Be, and they had the, a problem with the fields there. Hold it, hold it. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Or with the town or something, so they ended up moving to Hudson. Hudson, um, Oyster River, School District Durham, um, Liam comes from Durham, um, Scott on the other team comes from Lemonster, I think, Mass, and then a bunch from Nashville. What kills me is the Classics field is five minutes from my house. That was nice work. Justin Harrington played on the Cobras, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. Like, yeah, it was actually, that was a major Merrimack team, too. That was uh, Andrew, Justin, Alan, Chris, John. So this was the whole varsity team from last year. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy. I was talking to his mom the other day. At one point, actually James and, and Mike Hallman also played on And Brody. And Brody. So yeah, it was like almost <laughs> the whole varsity team. I was talking to uh, Jeremy's mom. I didn't realize he was at Penn State. But that, that's where both of them were. And it just, it strikes me as so funny because it just seems so big to me compared to the schools at Riley's. Like, yeah, they're so small. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah, Johnny went there too, but I think he's It just seems so big. Yeah. 
I think a lot more people should take that option. But like you were saying, there's so much pressure. The whole status symbol thing. And I'm a huge fan of state schools. But I mean, where was, where's he going to school? Northeastern Health. Yeah, if you graduate from Northeastern, you just finished his second year. You still got three more years. Because they do the co ops and stuff. So he, people are co op asking him to do a co op. That co op program is so good. Yeah. Otherwise, forget it. a couple books. <laughs> My stepdaughter went to, it was an unaccredited college, so it cost like $6,500 a year to go to the school. Most of which... Ah! Yeah! <laughs> um, most of which came to my account support while she was working in the toilet. Well, instead, her mother ended up charging on a credit card for the four years. So now she's graduated with a ten thousand dollar credit card that she found out about this offer. My younger son, they see because he's going to my team now. I guess you compare it to what else you have. <laughs> but you still have two more coming up. I heard. My daughter was upset, but I think she'll be happy if they get to do the overnight at Sergeant. Oh, so that's what they're talking about? Yeah, it's funny because thank goodness I wasn't wearing because I wore for those and I come from work and I changed my shirt, thank God. Because here I was up in the front. Nice! It's a whole, it was like three different things that they talked about. And I didn't know what to do. I've never heard of this. <laughs> Sounds like my job. It's 
not worth arguing with the ref people. Go Alex! Go Alex! That's it? Yeah, why? Yeah, hey. Now that's the second. Hey, bad for all the bad things I was thinking now. <laughs> this is why I can't videotape because I can't. <laughs> They're all jumbled up so I didn't notice. <laughs> I, didn't notice. I noticed when they were warming up and then I saw it showing up. Like, somebody must be a Bolts player because they were playing them up. Yeah, right. The kid, the kid on the left end of the bench, so I'm thinking, oh, all right, there's their yeah, no, they sat down and didn't put a shirt on. Yeah, they're right. waiting for their ride home. So, yeah, because we, we have two teams. Uh, regular season, they come in something. Yeah. yeah, they're all doubled rostered on the. So, this team has been down. They've lost the last week they played. Last week they played the Gosalis. I feel like we're random. You know, John Ferry, is John Ferry playing for Bolts or I don't think so. The name does not sound familiar, but I don't know all the kids. I know he was when they were in London there. Yeah, 
One nothing is really good. <laughs> oh, they're playing. They're playing a defensive game, but that's why it's scary. <laughs> they think that they're playing better than they did last week. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, couldn't be worse. Oh, games. Last week they played. Sea coast. Sea coast. Like, but it was a team that they don't mind. It wasn't too bad. They were losing two nothing at half. Oh, was it that game? No. No, that was that was that was, that was Sunday. Uh, but it wound up being like six to. It was three. ugly. Was that the game that was six to one? Some, yeah, I think so. had time to change and leave. So where was the prom? Right, right, right. 
other little boy running this they're side by side they're like touching it so running and I see Zach at the kid elbow to the kid. The kid falls down and he's crying. And then Zach's standing and they're like, I don't know what happened. So I told him like if I ever see you do something like that again, I'm like, I will go on to the team and I will take you off the field. I don't care what your coach says on the rep. I'm not competitive at all. I never did competitive sports. I, mean, I enjoy watching, but. Rob and I actually both played soccer. Did you? Before anybody played Yeah. When I was in high school, I wanted to play. <laughs> I graduated from high school in 85, and I went to the principal, and I asked if we could have a girls' soccer team, because we only had a boys' team. And he said, sure. Um, you have to find a coach, you have to find a place to practice, you have to set up the schedule. Like, um, yeah, I've got a full bone of honors classes, that's not happening. So we never got a, like, two, a year after I graduated, they got a girls' team. Responsible adults on the field. It's like Frank's role for the summer league. He's the responsible adult yeah. on the sideline. That's basically, yeah, that's basically what his high school is. He set up the schedule. You doing the triathlon?